Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring. I am your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD. I'm still a little bit under the weather, but hopefully you can forgive me. And we're going to start episode 24 off with just a little bit of Confessor Maintenance. So one thing that I want to do real quick is I want to go back to the first step. Where is it? Here we go. So we do not have an NPC marker here anymore. And I don't think we came here and did this little checkpoint event. Aha, you see? He's gone. Or, I'm sorry, what would my Bloodborne character say? Ah, it's gone. Anywho. So, find yourself maidenless. Off to Lyurnia with you then. Seek the Rose Church west of the Gate Town. Bam! It's good old Vare. And then we get the Bravo. That's like my favorite thing to use after I crush gankers in this game. PvP is incredibly fun in Elden Ring. If you don't know, I highly recommend trying it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go exactly there. Where is the Rose Church? Where is it? 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 Church of Erith. That's where Thops is. I don't think we have it yet. I don't think we do. It's probably out here somewhere in the middle. So we haven't covered the Rose Church yet. We have found the Church of Vows. And then we have Big Turtle Pope here. There's two NPCs here now. Finger Reader Crone. And who else? Finger Reader Crone and... Who's that? Bach! Okay. So yeah, he's actually the other person I was looking for, thankfully. We're going to give him our new fancy golden sewing needle. Where are you, you little shit? Bach? There you are. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. You're actually pretty reliable. Bach the seamster, at your service, master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Okay, well, it looks like we can't give it to him yet. Oh, uh, please. Maybe, Bok let's try this. Ready to make okay, so we can't. That's okay, oh, though. Uh, please. So we'll be able to give this stuff to him at some point. We just have to progress his uh, quest line a little bit. It's no big deal. So, the gold sewing needle, and then this here, the golden tailoring kit. Uh, we don't give the kits to him, but the needle is important. So, now, as if it wasn't confusing enough, we're going to jump around a little bit more. Because there's something that I want to go buy really bad. It's a surprise. Alright, so this gate town area, this is, uh... Goes a little bit against the philosophy that I have already exemplified in this playthrough so far, as in, we're going to stay away from the middle and let Rayo Lucaria, right? Like, I said that. Y'all heard me say it. But, that's not what we're going to do. We're actually going to go over here. We're going to pick up this map fragment, and we're going to go just a little bit forward until we're damn near touching Rayo Lucaria, and there's a gate town right here. And, uh, the Albanarix are not a concern of mine. They are hostile. They will 100% try to attack you, so don't, uh, don't let them hurt you. I really thought I grabbed that item. I mashed the triangle button. There we go. It's payday. Don't spit at me, you jerk. It's rude. Straight up freaking rude. Alright. There's the map fragment. So let's grab that. Hopefully Deathbird doesn't drop down and give us a hard time because it is nighttime. Gimme. There we go. And we may as well grab this guy. We'll reset the enemies that aggroed on us. Alright. I kind of have to go fast. The Nyquil is in me. and There's only one Lord of Light. And he said himself, the Nyquil is dark and full of terrors. So. Bam! Would you look at that? So much more of Lyurnia just opened up right before our very eyes. We want to go, like, right here somewhere is where we're trying to head. And uh, that's where this jolly little NPC is going to be, this uh, merchant. And 
by saying that some of you probably already know damn well what it is I'm going to go buy from this guy based on some of the experimenting that we've been doing on this character. Oh boy, oh boy, piece of candy. I'm distracted. Let's go get this golden seed just because it's right here. We're passing it anyway. Yes. Wonderful. So the only thing I don't want to do in this scenario is I do not want to aggro Deathbird. Because there are two of them in this same chunk of land. There are two Deathbirds that will drop down and ruin your day. I'll give you a hard time. So, I don't want to do that, though. I do not want to fight any death birds right now. The hell was that? I'm not crazy. You guys heard that, right? Huh. All right. So, let's see if we can find this guy, huh? Oh, God. Iron Maiden. <laughs> and I don't mean the band. <laughs> Alright. Well, nothing through here. They went through the trouble of detailing all these crevices, man. Alright, here. Let's do this. You. It's raining. That means this will do more damage. <laughs> and it did. Not quite. Oh, fuck. Come on. Just far enough away. Yes. Oh, that looks like it hurts. Wonderful. Bro, what are you doing? Just attack. Yeah. Oh, man. You do more damage if you hit them while that thing is open. But the problem is, they're never open. So, gotta be real careful. Uh, this is our first Iron Maiden that we've encountered in this playthrough. And, uh... These folks are bad news. They do quite a bit of damage. Now when they open like that, that's your cue to get in and hurt them. But uh, the problem is, those tentacles will grab you. And it's uh, it's everything like the hentai you watch. It's, it's terrible. You die. and Yeah. So, let's press on. Let's go ahead and... There's one of our little ghostly riders over here. Those guys are a joke, man. Like, they're not difficult at all. Where am I on the map? Nah, we are past. We are very much past where we're supposed to be. We are looking for a nomadic merchant. And he's not popping up on our map because we haven't found him yet. The only ones that really pop up on the map before you find them are the Finger Reader Crones, unfortunately. So, we're going to have to actually set eyes on the guy, and I don't feel so bad about going in the water now, because it's morning, so we don't have to worry about Deathbird, and not that you have to worry about Deathbird to begin with, honestly, he's not difficult, but it would just be like a waste of time for us, because we're going to come back through here and inevitably kick the shit out of all these enemies, like, none of them are safe, we're going to kill them all, but... I'm on a mission right now. I'm looking for something specific. And I won't have any of these piss ant enemies that think they can beat me getting in the way. So, let's do this. Let's look around a little bit. He's going to be he's going to be somewhere not in the center of enemies because they wouldn't put the merchant directly dead center where enemy spawns are because then you wouldn't be able to talk to him, and then he would probably get attacked. It would be counterproductive. Alright. We are not fucking with any of that. We are going to take the back way in there, if anything, once it's time. Alright, let me... Back here. No? My goodness, why does his location slip my mind? Why do I feel like he's not supposed to be this difficult to find, but he just is right now? Ooh, a chest. I know it's being guarded, though. We're going to have to be careful. Get... There we go. Oh, maybe it's not. Stone sword key. I love it. 
All right, where are we on the map? Okay, he's like literally right here somewhere. He might be on the other side of the damn wall, but I can't confirm that. All right, let's run out here and see if he's in the middle of this little island. It's been a minute since I talked to this one because I never... I never really went looking for him on my other character. Okay, here's a grace. Let's grab this while we're here. Why not? Okay. Sorry, I know this is taking forever. This is probably super annoying, but I need to I need to find this guy for just one special item that I want to buy that I didn't know existed until last night when I was talking to my friend Jeremy, aka Lloyd. A.K.A. Rainbow Man, A.K.A. like the best guy on the face of the earth. Where is this damn merchant? What the hell? This is really starting to annoy me. He's supposed to be like right here somewhere. Maybe I have not activated certain in-game events that get him to show up? I really hope that's not the case. Because I gotta find this guy. Okay. Flying buttress. Yes. Give me vantage. Okay, what do we got? Skeletons? No, no I'm not bothering with no skeletons, boy. Ain't got no time for that. Okay. Let's do this. Let's head in just a little bit under this bridge. There is a crab over here. We need to be careful. Gotta watch out for the crab. But, oh fuck. The bear too. <laughs> There's lots of bad stuff over here. Like, in case... In case you haven't noticed. This is not... This is not a friendly area. It's not welcoming at all. We are gonna grab these, though. Because I have better use for them. Except, these ones are a little tougher to grab because we're being chased by magic. Yes. Yes. Okay, we can do it, though. We can do it. Come on. Wow, he's being really tame right now. Normally, that guy will just keep using the damn magic attack over and over again. He almost never uses the poison. That's amazing. All right, we got one more. Come on, home stretch. Yes. All right. All right, I'm running over here just for a second. We're totally off course. This is not cool. This is not my style at all, but since we're literally right here, the Rose Church, we may as well Talk to our friend Barre. Ah, there you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table home. What was your impression? Okay, so the first option here is uh, the one that you want to select. If you choose this one, I'm pretty sure his quest line will end here. So we're not going to do that. Aha. Uh -huh. Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elven Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind that's the part that irks the most interesting so <laughs> Vare basically confirms in this dialogue that he is indeed tarnished like us and he never mentioned that before oh i have a gift for you something fit only for the wise All right the festering bloody finger goes great over rice means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? 
And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. Oh, thanks, man. Whatever that means. The. <laughs> Be sure to try that finger I gave you. There's no reason to dither. The tarnished were spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. You know what? You're completely right. Let me just... Oh, wait! You're completely wrong. I can't use it. Be sure to try... I'm quite yeah, certain. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no need to dither. I know. Yuck. So this is where Vare hangs out. He, uh... Must enjoy... Hanging out with swollen... Pus-filled... Just... I don't know. Strawberry puree. Alright, so... Let's take this guy down, shall we? Possibly. Let's possibly take this guy down. <laughs> Alright, come here. Now that I'm bubbled, you may not. One more. So we're gonna run into these guys later on, and they're much worse later. I guarantee you I would have roasted that guy with that lightning spear had he not interrupted me at the last hundred millionth of a second. That's about how long that was. All right. Let's look at the cookbook that we got. We got a tier 12 is what that was. The cursed blood pot. So this is going to be another example of what we can do with the ritual pot, not just the cracked one. Throw to douse enemy with a cursed blood. Throw out enemies to douse them in a cursed blood, causing summoned spirits to assail them with a rabid fervor. A childhood memory of the Lord of Blood. Well, so that would be Moog's childhood memories. And if you look closely at the pot, you can actually see the symbol of Moog on it. It looks kind of like a trident. It's exactly what his weapon looks like. It's cool stuff. It's the little things, I'm telling you. It's the small details here and there that really tell us wow they really put a lot of thought into this game so as much as it, everybody probably hates the thought of this unfortunately well you think you're just gonna get away from me yeah i need all the flasks i can get man as much as everybody probably hates the thought of this i'm gonna go back and look for this merchant again real quick and I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this because I understand that it's not important to find him right this second. Because the item that I want to get from him is not detrimental to us. It's just going to make things a lot more fun. It's going to make for a better playthrough. And it's going to allow us to experiment more with uh, the tools that we're given. Because I honestly believe that there is a good use for just about everything in this game. And the item in particular that we're about to go get is going to give us access to something that has immense potential. I'm just passing by these giant structures. Maybe off in this direction, there should be a dragon, I believe, that's guarding one of those keys that we're going to inevitably have to get. And I'm thinking that the key is going to be die. Yeah, these Albanarics are kind of tanky, man. Okay, we got some more tarnished gold sunflowers, and those are good because we do like making the holy water pot. Um, yeah, those guys are kind of tanky, man. Oh, yuck. The lobsters. No thanks. No thanks. Now my bubble's gone. But that's alright. We're not in any danger right now, so we don't really need it. Alright, I'm going to kind of like coast through here a little bit. Because I know this dude is right under our nose, man. And I, kn I know, I know. Believe me, some of you may not think so, but I completely understand. I get it, okay? I know that you're probably watching this video and face palming like, Dude, he's literally right over there! Like, some of you probably know 
easily where this guy is, and you're watching me run right past him. I understand. It can be very painful to watch, but you're just going to have to bear with me. Give me that. Fuck. Yeah, three of those things. Oh, no. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't have any time to play. Wouldn't if I did. All right, and we're not going to go up through there. We are going... Oh, God. We're going to wall plant is what we're going to do. Okay. He's got to be up in there somewhere. All right. Maybe we are going to go up in here. Okay. Well, <laughs> welcome to episode 24, guys. We're going to take on the gate town because I apparently am just stupid. Nope. Yep. There we go. We'll do a twofer. Alright, I got his gloves, and we got some bolts. Alright, this guy, let's... Mm -mm. Oh, I missed. I should be using uh, my spear against these guys. Probably be a good time to switch to it. Maybe I'll do that since they're weak to thrust damage. Am I heavy? Yes, I'm too heavy. All right. <clears throat> Let's get rid of that guy. Here we go. All right. Gentlemen. It's time. What? That was strange. Well, it still hits pretty hard. No, stop throwing shit at me! Ugh. Jerks. That's it. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted. Jeez. So the, the recovery attack for this weapon in particular is not anywhere near as fast as the flail. I'm going to have to get slightly acclimated to that, I think. But... It's not a big deal. It'll be okay. Of course, we're gonna have to jump. All right, shattered shard arrows that are fletched, which means they will fly further. Hey! <laughs> I see you! No, not you. So, this guy we're going to get. <laughs> We're going to have to teach this guy the way of getting got. No. Are you ready? Are you kidding me? You're going to get got, and that's all there is to it, man. You're going to get got, and that's all there is to it, man. There we go. Jeez. Except he fucking survived? How did he survive? How did he survive? There's no way! Oh my god. Alright. Hold on. We're not about to let that happen. There's no way. Not on my watch. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do for this guy. <laughs> um, all right. We'll give this guy some fire. Well, we can't... Oh, come on. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> this is bad. This is bad. Die. <laughs> Woo. 
<laughs> Bad enough to get the blood boiling, isn't it? My pulse definitely increased. Hello, you. You must think you're just so fucking smart, don't you? Can't lock on to him. Alright, fine. You're just gonna have to get down here, and we'll take care of you the normal way. Wow, this guy sucks. Alright. How in the hell am I not hitting that guy? Like, it's going right into him. There we go. Fucking wow. Alright. Come here, you. Alright. Charge forth. <laughs> um... I'm pretty sure I already have that. Let's see, charge forth. Yep, I think I already had that one. No, I had imperiling thrust. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No, we're good. All right. Wow. So the hitboxes on that guy were kind of strange. I guess it just pays to try to hit the uh, the actual ball that he has instead of trying to hit him. Maybe that's what. I should have done to avoid that headache. Alright, so let's go back to what we were doing. Do this. Da 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 da. Well, come on with it. You look ready to fight. Alright. Give me that glintstone, man. You're not going to do anything with it. Okay, so we have one of those big old devices up here that's uh, kind of problematic for us. So we're going to have to be sneaky sneaky. We're going to have to do things confessor style. Here we go. Well, this guy's not looking. Take care of him. All right, so instead of going straight into that courtyard back there, we're going to be real smart. We're going to go back through here, and we're going to take these little outskirts that go around. Much smarter. But you do have to be quiet and sneaky, because these enemies, they're only as dumb as uh, you allow them to be, so... Let's just make sure we don't alert anybody that might have, like, a trumpet or something to give us away. And we'll do this. There we go. And lure these guys back with the sound of their buddy being stabbed to death. Come on over, gentlemen. Now I expect them to walk away. Yep. There we go, yeah, give me just the one. Damn it. Come on, man. Or what do I have to throw at him? Hmm. Not much. Alright. It's time to do our thing. Let's craft a little bit. We'll do... I don't have any of those. Let's do this. As much as I like the spear, and as smart as it is to use it against them, that thing is really, really heavy. So, we're going to have to go back to an equip load that we can handle. There we go. Alright. Come on. I think not, sir. go now you what's that guy doing back there <laughs> that's kind of funny there we go got our 17th dagger for this playthrough. <laughs> this 
See, I'm telling you, man. That's the weird thing about our damage in this game is we have, like, just barely not enough to finish the job. Like, I have to use strong attacks. So here's what you want to do with these guys. Oh, fuck. I wonder if the distance on this thing will allow me to get the backstab I need. Yes! Two, three. One. There we go. Got him. Crossbow guy. Now, these guys, there's really... Ooh, fire Blossom, hell yeah. There's really no way to do the descend attack against this guy because a lot of these rooftops are not able to be surmounted. But that's okay. Come here, man. Oops. Man, I'm telling you, this... This flail is just straight up good. Like, <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's wonderful. Get a little booty stab here. Confessor style. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's see if there's anything to steal in here. Alright. I hear somebody else. I think I heard some footsteps. Is anybody patrolling off to the side? Doesn't look like it. Hmm, nope. We're good. Maybe. Hello? Anybody? Hmm, Alright. Let's go talk to the crone. Just because. Yes, yes. Oh, bless you. Mikela's favor can be yours. Slaughter. 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 The all-hearing slaughtered. But was for naught. But all you need do is snatch it from the big pot. <laughs> Pretty the poor, poor fool. <laughs> well, we know who the all knowing is Gideon, the bastard. But who is the All-Hearing? I wonder who they refer to as the All-Hearing because the All-Knowing, being Gideon, maybe it's the person who followed him? Because I believe that there's some kind of, like, partner or follower that Gideon had. And uh, the reason I believe that is because against one of the other bosses later, Rikerd, you end up picking up a piece of armor. It's like a, a brown surcoat. There's nothing up here. And... It's interesting when you pick the item up because... It makes it... It sort of implies that Gideon had some kind of partner. Or somebody that was following him. And maybe that person was the all-hearing if Gideon was the all-knowing. No. Alright, blue-white wooden shield. Not a particularly good shield, but I will show you this. The design is said to represent the stars of the night sky, portending fate. So this guy, I believe, it says pretending fate. I feel like it might raise item discovery. I think that might be the purpose of the shield. I haven't tested this. I can't confirm it. And I've not read anything on the wiki that suggests that. But anytime I read that item description, since I first picked it up on my other character, I have felt that that just might be 
what it is. And we're going to grab this grace. Okay, the meeting place map. Oh, I skipped a little dialogue down there, but didn't mean to do that. All right. Simple map found on a corpse seems to point to a meeting place. The man it came from surely desired one. The sole means of gaining entry into the academy, a glintstone key. So this guy, if we look at the map here. Well, we may not necessarily have the spot that it's talking about unlocked yet, but we're going to have to find like the marking that uh, shows where that is and it's sounds to be it sounds like it's Thops because he desperately desperately wants to enter we cannot proceed without a glintstone key but that's okay we're going to go slaughter a dragon probably in the next episode and we're gonna find ourselves a key we're gonna take one why because it's our destiny I feel like people who have been watching me for a long time right now are going, Oh my god, he said it! <laughs> and if you don't understand, if you're a newcomer, I'll explain. Uh, that's actually the catchphrase from my very first expert walkthrough on this channel, which is severely outdated. Like, it's like I would imagine right now, if you watched it, it'd probably be so bad and kind of cringy and difficult to get through but I put a lot of heart and soul into that walkthrough and uh, as cringy as it is it's uh, I tried to be informative and charming at the same time and I think for some people I got that effect and many others I did not but um, that was my that was my silly catchphrase when I started that series it was uh a lot of fun. Alright. So. I like how I went from... Ooh, another teleporter that I'm not going to use. I like how I went from, we're not going to mess with the water, to... Alright, we are full-blown messing with the water. <laughs> like, uh, I'm inconsistent in this playthrough. But... Only because... I'm completely dead set on finding this damn merchant that I swear was on the outskirts of uh, Ray Lucaria. I mean... Alright, I'm gonna go try one more spot real quick. Oh shit, it's nighttime. That means Deathbird. Deathbird is upon us. Let's try as hard as we can to not aggro him. I say that as I run directly into his aggro range. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run past this grace. Let me give you guys some more visibility. Try to be a better host. And we're going to head down this way. Let's see if he's over here. I keep looking for the light. You know, normally they sit by like a, like a torch or something, you know. It's, it's usually how you can find them is they're sitting by some kind of fire but that does not seem to be the case for us right now oh you think you're so tough don't you you think you're so tough like you got no poise dude man 82 runes give me your 82 runes it's sorry not worried about the other ones. Pretty sure a revenant shows up here, though. So we gotta be careful. We can't treat these guys like they're nothing. But at the same time, we don't have to respect them. <laughs> we don't have to treat them like some kind of insane adversary, either. And these ones that just hang out on the ground are, like, straight up stupid. Let me get these, though. Oh! Purple item. Let me get that. Yeah! Shit. Bro, that hit for, like, no damage. 
God, you guys are like season one Z characters trying to throw key blasts at Dragon Ball Super Brawly. Like, come on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I didn't even know this crevice was tucked away in here. Like, some of this stuff blows my mind still. That they hide some of it so well. <laughs> Alright, so... Bleh. I really don't want to sink any more time into this. I'll be honest with you guys. I think it's, uh... I think it's horrifically off point, and I've already wasted enough time trying to find this guy. And he does not seem to want to show up. I'm not thinking that he's here. I'm going to do my best to try to, like, scout underneath the bridge to find him. Maybe we'll get lucky, but it's not looking very promising. We might just have to, like, come back and look for him later, or maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll do the responsible thing and uh, try to find him off screen. There's another Grace. What's that? You guys saw that, right? Huh. Okay. So, let's see. Hello. one of these there we go shield bash not something I'm going to need on this build in particular but still good to have alright come on man where are you hey this is frustrating okay <laughs> So, since this straight up doesn't want to happen, um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell you guys what I was trying to do, okay? Um, there's a nomadic merchant that I'm looking for who sells the uh, Fever's Cookbook Tier 2, and the reason that that is important to me is because red jellyfish, woohoo! my ADHD just like forcing itself into this video funny um, he sells an item that I want the fevers cookbook tier 2 and the reason that that item is important to me is because don't shit at me jellyfish don't do it it's important to me because that cookbook is going to allow us to do the sleep bolts which I didn't realize were a thing and I actually if you some of you are going to recall this I actually misinformed you guys in a previous video because I swear those things didn't exist like it made sense to me that they didn't exist and it ended up being a completely inaccurate assumption regardless but I assumed that they didn't exist because there's a crossbow in this game that's basically Avalon and it fires three bolts at a time and that I imagine with the sleep bolts could be just incredibly dangerous like borderline broken so that's why I kind of was under the impression that maybe maybe that they don't have those in the game maybe that sleep bolts are not a thing but that's totally not the case now that uh, now that we're here talking about it you know All right, there's probably no way up into this building, right? There's nothing in there or up there. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Where are we on the map? Okay. Honestly, I... I think I'm just going to give up for now on trying to find this guy. And... Yeah, we're just going to have to come back and try to find him later, because I swear he was right here on the eastern side of, like, he was supposed to be right along here somewhere, but he doesn't seem to be there. Um, I could have swore he was in, on the eastern wall of Ray Lucaria. Like, I swear that's where I saw him in my other playthrough, but 
Perhaps I'm confused. I'm just going to have to come back at a different point in time and try to find him later. Because he ain't here. Alright, I'm going to work my way through this jungle just a little bit to see if maybe I'm wrong. We can find him. Hey! <laughs> It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant, Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. Alright, this guy's out for vengeance, so I can't tell if this is Lanya or not. Like, maybe maybe this is Lanya, and he's upset because she's dead, but now he's on a quest for vengeance. So, he was asking us to go find this Lanya person, and we never did, and uh, we were supposed to report to him if we found her. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I... The tale of how I... Alright, the tale of... Hoslo, and uh, I don't know, this guy really reminds me of like a Castlevania character. I know Senor Dragoth Belmont is probably watching, and uh, he he would agree completely. <laughs> and the Hoslo chain is a very cool whip weapon that I think was heavily inspired from Castlevania, and uh, we're going to be able to get that by doing this guy's quest line. It's going to be wicked. So, alright, I may have been running around with my thumb completely up my ass in this episode, but at least we found that guy. So that's one more quest line that we can progress. We can get our magic grease. Deep fry things to perfection. Alright. Yeah. I'm uh, very much giving up on the merchant right now. I think he's he's not worth spending any more time trying to find. I'm just going to save you guys the trouble, and I'm just going to go to the wiki or something and try to find him like that. Be much easier than running through here and uh, just continuously struggling to find him when his whereabouts could be made very obvious if I just do a little bit of research. So, we are going to go that route. So, what I'm going to do then is... Without getting ganked by Alban Arx, let's head over to this statue. There we go. We got tier three smithing stone times three. Jump out the back window, halfway to Mexico before he even realizes that we were there. Now we're gonna shoot this thing. Bam, get us some runes, a tier 6, no less. And we're not even going to worry about fighting those guys. We just wanted the runes. So now, run out of aggro range of these jerks. Because I wasted so much time flopping around, attempting to find something that I thought I knew the location of, we're just going to have an extra long episode. I'm going to... Not punish you guys at all. Wow, the fucking loading screen. How... How deliciously ironic. Okay, we're gonna go down through here. And what I should have done is... I'm kind of stupid. I should have gone to this grace. And... We're going to go scale the side of the mountain real quick. And... Damn it. That is not what I meant to do. We can't level up. Okay. All right, we're going to scale the side of the mountain, go down through here, and there should be a catacomb or a cave. I'll take either because they're a lot of fun. So let's go down through here. And I do believe there are wolves on the way down. There's something down here, I think. So just be on your guard, maybe bats. And it is dark, too. Okay, no, it's those assholes. Okay, I knew it was something. Not bats, not wolves, but those jerks that throw the smoke and try to attack you. 
Bunch of yuck. They're not worth the trouble they cause, so... Don't even worry about fighting them. We are going to worry about this. Bing! Somber smithing stone. <clears throat> the more of those we get, the better. And... Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Why do I feel... There we go. <laughs> so instead of cutting the video where I normally do, we're going to have an extra long one. Let's have some fun. The Cliff Bottom Catacombs. So this one's not going to be as bad as the one that we did in the last episode. This is not going to be as shitty as the Black Knife Catacombs. So let's ride this guy down. There we go. Grab this. Shield up. Because you never know. Alright. So, you know that sound. We're going to have the uh, fanged imps. So you know what to do against the fanged imps, right? We're going to pull them one at a time and split their heads open because we're smart. Ow. <laughs> My IQ drops further and further. Every time I talk. Right. Ooh, he dropped a tier three. Nice. Make sure to check the ceiling because they do like to drop down from the ceilings. Super dangerous. Alright, pick up the shiny, get some root resin, and a grave violet. How about up here? Nope. Alright. Alright, here's our boss door. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, this guy's got a big sword. Alright. Don't matter. Oh wow, these guys are beefy. Okay. What do we got? Nothing? Okay, strangely. Alright, we're going to have to get up there. I think that will involve... Heading upstairs from that side, but we do have a big guy down here. There's, uh, so if you guys remember the big guy that we fought, yep, there he is. What do you know? The big guy that we fought in Stormvale Castle with the curved sword, that is him. Just another version of him. You're not supposed to be able to fall. Wow. All right, fine. Bubble up. Eek. Get a couple of these in. Not that he's a problem. Once you, uh... Once your damage is good, you know. Very susceptible to bleed. But that guy's got the axe. And you can farm him for that axe. It's actually really damn good, believe it or not. Uh, this part's... Fuck. He was not supposed to see me. What the hell? You don't want to aggro the little guys down here. There's a couple of them hiding in the bushes. So let's get some hits on this guy. There we go. Let's get the bleed. Nice. Alright. And then wonderful. So we can now communicate to different NPCs that things are wonderful. Wonderful. Great. Alright, so maybe there are no little guys down here. That's good. Hefty beast bones. We're going to need those for the ballista items that we're going to craft. Alright. So let's make our way back up, shall we? Alright. We got 
arrows. Check that out. So, now we gotta watch for the platform. Which looks to be, yep, the pressure plate looks to be right in the center of that room. So, let's do this, shall we? Make sure there's no ambush. We'll use it against this guy. Easy peasy. They would have been serious assholes if they put those fang dims in this room. <laughs> that could have been very, very problematic. Alright. Sneaky, sneaky. This wall is suspicious. But if it was fake, it would have broke with those arrows. So. False alarm. We haven't seen a fang dimp in a second. I wonder where they are. Where are they hiding? Alright. So now that we've covered the lower level, we at least don't have to worry about that again. We have our bubble for another minute. Oh, shit. No, please, don't get up. Oh, God. Listen, man. Ugh, the hyper armor from the punch is ridiculous. I don't want to hug, dude. That was ugly. That's what I want. They want the old one-two combo. Oh man, procking the bleed on that crit feels great. Page ashes. All right. So, the page is also an enemy that we're going to encounter uh, fairly soon in this playthrough. We'll see a couple of them coming up. Uh-huh. You thought, didn't you? Got any friends hanging around? Old Fang. Okay. Now we'll hit this guy. A heavy door, so there. We didn't get up there, though. But we need to. So let's do this. Oh, pressure plate. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what's in here. We're gonna need keys for that. Nobody? Alright, works for me. Alright, let's experiment, huh? Um... I wanna see if it works against these guys. It sure doesn't. So, Banished Knights. Really? Are you serious? Oh, lock on. Alright. That was interesting. Nope. Alright. I'm surprised one of them hasn't dropped the axe yet. Later on when we do the the subterranean uh, underground area, we're going to... Hold on. Just doing my due diligence. Don't judge me. <laughs> when we do the subterranean underground area later, we're going to fight quite a few of these big guys. Like, they're going to be the abundant enemy down there. And, uh... I seem to get the axe like crazy off of them. Shit. Sir? 
Oh, that didn't do anything. No, I don't want to. Arg I do not want to aggro the imp too. I only want one of these guys. Just you, please. Yes, that's it. Give me the old one, two. No hugs. Get this bleed. Bam. Almost. There we go. Yeah. Very nice. I'll deal with you in a minute. Let's get these guys first. Nope. Fuck. I could not roll fast enough. That's okay. Deal with that guy. He gave me a glintstone firefly. Okay. Watch for this pressure plate. Because you see the arrow holes dead ahead. So let's do this. There we go. That's it. Come on. What else we got in here, huh? I see you. No, oh, fuck! I guess I'm not used to having the triple swap going on here. Alright. I don't see anybody else. I think we're okay. We'll go back for that, uh... Go back for that stone sword key wall in just a second. I want to get through here real quick. There we go. All right, this should be the very last like secret spot. All right, we'll deal with these last couple guys. Oh shit! No. There we go. That's it. Come on. Lock on. Knock this guy down. Only because I dislike you. Anybody else? Doesn't look like it. Nice. The scythe. So we already have a scythe. A really good one. We have the wing scythe, which we need to upgrade again. Because we have a tier 4 smithing stone that we can use to get this plus 4. But this is also a really good weapon. It's got uh, C scaling index right off the bat. 14 and 14. Which I believe are its exact requirements in Dark Souls 1. But uh, this is a good good weapon. It's got really good base damage. It's got 125. It takes regular stones to upgrade. And it has bleed, just like the other one. 55 blood loss. It's a pretty good weapon. It's got tons of reach. It's real good. But we'll stick with the winged one. And not right this second, though. We are for sure wanting to use the damage type that makes sense in this place right now. All right, so let's go get this guy. Yeah, this one only requires one. Hmm, anybody else? Doesn't look like it. All right, the Nox Mirror Helm. Let's take a look. Helm fashioned from a crystal-looking glass. Once among the Eternal City's ritual implements, easily broken and weak against strike attacks. Worn by those committed to high treason, it wards it wards off the intervention of the Greater Will and its vassal fingers. Interesting. So this is something that uh, I guess Vare would be interested in. But... Uh, Got quite a bit of poise, but what else does it have? What's it notable for? It's got really good resistances, I'll tell you that. 
Interesting. All right. So now what we're going to do... Did I look down here? I did. Okay. What about in this one? Did I make sure to look through here? Aha! <laughs> A rune arc. We definitely don't want to miss that. Okay. Good thing. So now we can go back down through here. It's time to go take down the boss. And watch for pressure plates. Do I have a flask? I do not. So we're not going to be able to use our minions of the night. That's alright. We probably won't need them. Tell you what I do want though, just in case. Fire pots. Here we go. Oh, this thing. It's just Well that sucked. Use the pillars for that. It's got a magic AoE attack though, you gotta be real careful. Here's the slam. Get a couple hits in on the slam, and then back up. Now he's going to come towards us with the slam. No big deal, though. And you probably really don't even have to roll for that part. Okay, yeah, you do. I thought I was just being extra careful. So that, get some smacks in. No, we can't bleed this boss, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh pillars because we're smart we use some fire pots why not uh oh so that's how you evade it if you don't have the option of the pillar all right Ooh. no bleed for this boss because they are oh hey I have that too mine goes further though Well, this boss is made of stone, so they don't bleed. But easy, nonetheless. They really use this boss a lot. Like this is not this is not even the last time we're gonna see this boss. One, two, three. Roll away. Easy peasy. One, two. All right. No challenge at all. And we got the Caden Cell Sword Ashes. And then there's no chests or anything like that to pick up. All right. Let's do our thing. Let's warp back. goodness sorry i'm like really low energy in these episodes guys i don't mean to be i just uh have come down with a little bit of a little bit of a cold with some allergies and i've already mentioned that to you you guys know what i'm talking about but um all right one more level and we'll be able to use our wonderful new talisman or not talisman but uh, finger seal the one we're going for is this guy, the God Slayer's one. It's going to be great. It's going to amplify our Black Flame. And then we'll start upgrading it. It's going to be wonderful. But, um... Alright. So let's do this. We're not going to end here, in this awkward spot. What we want to do is... We want to start doing some more action-y stuff. So I guess what we'll do is... We'll go there next time. The Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. We'll go there... In the next episode but for now what I will do is I will head back to the round table hold it's a good place to end our episodes and uh, the last piece of maintenance that I will do in this episode ah. 
Ah, Who's this? You again, is it? The recusants sent a lackey. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did? I can scarcely believe it myself. Do they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then they only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelnir. Found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. Very cool stuff. Alright, so we'll be continuing his questline later on in Volcano Manor, and the recusants that he's mentioning are led by this woman who sits there in the Volcano Manor, guarded by a Crucible Knight. Alright, what do we got? So we can upgrade... Uh, but we probably don't have enough runes to upgrade our scythe, though. No, but wait, what? I could have swore I had a somber smithing stone tier 4. Maybe it was just a regular smithing stone tier 4. That's probably what it was. Okay. Um, regardless, we have enough to get this thing to plus 9. So, boom. We're going to do that. Um, I like this thing a lot. So, we should just keep using it. And keep upgrading it. All right, what other weapons do we have that we want to upgrade? That. We want to keep upgrading that guy. Probably the whip too, but all in good time. All in good time. Let's see if we can upgrade our children. Nope. We need a tier 5. EU. Let me use your bulging blessing. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me? Now. Come. Yes, yes, yes. Hold me. Oh no. My hugging condom wore off. You are so. Then good day to you. Oh, okay. So nothing further from her. Except this painfully long separation and ending up to a hug like oh my goodness it sucks every time let's try one more time i am pleased would you like the blessing is still would you like to be now? yes <laughs> let's see what she says <laughs> let's see if there's anything i don't mean to make you guys sit through a painful hug again you are so Come on. Any day now. It's a wonderful painting of America you have there. All right. Wonderful. Looks like we're sitting pretty, pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. So, all right. This one ran a little bit longer than they normally do, which I try not to do anymore. At least not with this massive file size of the 4K-ness and all that, you know. But I feel like since I wasted a lot of time looking for the merchant, which I'm just going to, like, shamelessly look at the wiki for, just to make sure we don't waste any more time in the next episode. Um, if you stuck with me to this point, you're a saint. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on the in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I will catch you guys in the next video.